we do the rigging for the wing and the platform, which have their own set of mostly mechanical systems. You know, the boats now primarily all the functions are controlled hydraulically. So it's our job to connect the hydraulics to whatever part of the boat or the wing we're trying to move. There are different applications for all of the rigging we use, so it's our job to trying to estimate what the functions on the boat would be, what the loads would be, so that we could match the rope to the application that would be strong enough and that would perform the way we wanted it to. So these boats have changed a lot since the conventional monohulls. We only have one winch on the boat that controls the wing, so there's a lot of hydraulic rams with single length strops that are pin to pin. In some of the areas, like in the wing control system, we're able to use solid carbon rods as rigging, which are connected with soft strops that we build here. A lot of stuff we have to work on is minimizing stretch and trying to work out the right rope choice, the right applications. We have to look at the load it's going to see, the durability it needs to have, what kind of safety factor we need to look at. We achieve those safety factors by testing. So there's we work closely with Mafioli, which is our rope supplier. Anything we build on the boat, we build it once and we break it uh, in the test bench, and then we build it again and put it on the boat, and that way we know we know what the limitations are pretty precisely before it ever goes sailing. We have foot pedals that control hydraulic valves on the boat, and that would be just a small bit of, um, say, th two or three mil Dyneema, so the, the braking load on that is not very critical. On the other end of the spectrum, something like a board down line will see up to four tons. So we've got to decide on how much real estate we have in the system, how much real estate we can build to get the diameter of rope we want and get the stretch characteristics to where we want and then apply a safety factor that we're comfortable with. There's a lot of things to look at on it because at the end of the day, if something like that breaks, we can lose a wing, the board can get shot through the boat. We've got, really got to be on top of the safety factors and keeping the guys safe on the boat.